Hello, in this video I will be showing you how to make simple footstep sounds in Unity, so let's get to the demonstration of what we want to achieve. As you can see, every time his foot touches the ground, he makes a footstep sound. So in my project I have a simple animator with a simple animation controller, an audio source, a particle system which I will show you later, and a simple script that's called YBot where I have some footstep sounds saved, a couple of booleans that I can just use through my inspector, and a simple rotator script to help showcase the model. Let's just go quickly through it. So if I turn on the rotator, the model will start rotating. And if I click on the walking, the model will start walking. As you can see, it's currently not making any footstep sounds, so let's see how we can do that. The simplest way to implement footstep sounds in Unity is using animation events. So the first thing you want to do is select your character that has the animator, open the animation tab, which in my case it already is, and then you want to select your animation, which you want to assign footsteps for. In my case, it's already selected and it's walk. The next thing you want to do is you want to find the frame where the footstep occurs. So that would be, let's say right over here on frame nine. So let's do this on frame nine. You right click and then go add animation event. What this means is every time this animation hits frame nine, whatever function we have linked to this event will be called. So this means we now have a function call on every footstep, which is great because the only thing we need to do inside that function call is play a footstep sound. So since that code is easy, let's just first find the next footstep that occurs in this animation. That will be frame, frame 24, let's say. We go add animation event. So now let's go to Visual Studio Code and see what the code looks like. Inside of our script, we have the animator, the audio source and particle system components. We have an array of footstep sounds, that's an array of audio clips. We have an animation parameter that's called animation parameter walking, the string value of walking. And we have the visualize boolean that signalizes whether or not we should use the particle system to visualize the footsteps. Lastly, we have the walking variable, which we just use to toggle it through the inspector and make testing easier. We get all of our components in the awake method, and inside of the update method, we simply set the boolean of the uh, animator to be whatever the current state of walking is. And finally, we have the footstep method. Inside of it, we create a random number from 0 to however many we have footstep sounds minus 1. Of course, it's within minimum inclusive to maximum exclusive. We then select the clip from the footsteps array using this random index we just generated. And then we just play a audio clip through the audio source we have linked previously. And lastly, we have a simple check, so if we want to visualize it through our particle system, then we simply emit one particle. So let's go back to Unity and see how we can hook this up. So back in Unity, you can see that I have the script attached to my character, as well as the animator and the audio source. I also have the particle system right over here, which is going to be super cool later. And now I want to do is I want to go to the animation tab. I want to select both of these events I have created previously. I can also do them one by one, but it's easier to just click both of them with shift. And then I simply assign the footstep method I have done before. So I go YBot, methods, and then footstep. So what this means is every time the animation hits frames nine and then 24, a footstep function will be called, which will then play the footstep sound. So let's see how this works right now. We have to click that it's walking and as you can see it works however it does feel a little bit off now sometimes this will happen uh, because your audio files are not trimmed as good as you can see in my case they have this little uh, silent period before that of course you can ideally trim this in an audio editor like audacity or something but another cool way is you can simply just move these events frame or two behind i'm going to move them two frames behind just to see what happens i'm going to click play Oh yeah, this is much better. Okay, great. And now for the finale, we're going to see the visualization of the footsteps. And as you can see, every time the foot touches the ground, we have a little particle emitted, which is a simple circle that, you know, zooms in and then fades out. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And I hope you have a nice day. Goodbye.